this video for the TV Star T1020 HD Digital Terrestrial Receiver. We're going to show you a little bit about the media player on this particular box, okay? So to access it, all you have to do is simply hit the menu button and go over to this last menu called USB and then arrow down to multimedia and press OK. Now what I should add is obviously you're going to have an external hard drive or memory stick or something like this plugged into the front USB port on this particular receiver with your films or music or photos or something like this, okay? Before I go on, what I'll say, and I've said in pretty much all the videos that, you know, where anyone would be using the USB port, the USB port on this particular box is upside down, okay? Uh, compared to traditional way you'd see it, okay? So if you meet any resistance when you're plugging in your USB port, don't force it home because you'll break it, okay? USB ports are fairly delicate little creatures and, you know, they don't want a USB stick jammed in the wrong way into them, okay? So it's upside down. It works perfect, but just compared to traditionally, it would be, you know, in the opposite position. So if you meet any resistance when you're plugging in your USB cable or USB stick, something like this, just turn it the other way around, uh, you know, obviously plug it out, turn it the other way around and it'll go in okay. So it's just to be aware of that because, you know, you'll probably get people breaking the USB port on the box if they're not aware of this. Um, so that's it basically. So just uh, what we can do is, there's three separate sub-menus, or there's four actually, there's PVR and we've... Um, actually dealt with this in another video and that's how you play back your recordings that you would have made from TV. But I'm just specifically going to deal with movies, photos and music, okay? Now the thing to note is if you have different types of media on your actual drive that you have plugged into the box, you can only look at each one individually. So if I go into the movie menu, it's only going to look for movies. If I go into the photo menu, it's only going to look for photos. If you go into music, it's only going to look for music. You have to come back out to this particular menu and go back in if you want to look at a different type of uh, media, okay? So we'll just start with photo here and we'll see. So I just have a little drive here with a few little things on it. And that's fine. So you can see here, it's picking up just a few little pictures I have, just of a few dogs there or whatever, okay? So if you want to look at it full screen, just press OK and you can hit exit to go back or you can actually if you put if you put your if you highlight the one at the start you can just simply press the play button and it actually does kind of a slideshow for you so that's fairly handy if you had all your holiday photos and things like this okay so it it reads the normal type of um photos and stuff like that jpegs and you know things like that so it'd be fairly common from that point of view now if you want to get out of that then and you want to go up and look at a different type of media all you have to do is hit the exit button and you're back up then and what we'll do here now is we're just going to arrow over to music so what I'll do then is I'll just go down to my little tunes folder so these are just a couple of little samples so just to play a tune obviously highlight the one you want and play away so it doesn't play every type um, you know, it'll play certain types and that's basically it. I'll just see if I can turn up the volume here so you might be able to hear that it is actually working. Okay, so you can hear it working there. So it'll it'll play certain types. It, it's okay, like, from that point of view, but it wouldn't be the best one on the market from that point of view from a media player features. But then again, what I'd say about every sort of, you know, whether it be a combo receiver, satellite receiver, a terrestrial receiver, while they do, while a lot of them do have actually fairly good um, media player features on them, they're not actually a media player, okay? If you want a, 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 you know, a device that's going to play all your movies and photos and things like that, you're better off to buy a standalone media player that just support a far wider range of codecs. The, the best way to think of a media player on these sort of boxes that we sell and other retailers sell is basically, it's a bonus add-on feature. If it'll play your stuff well and good, if it won't, you know, it's not a media player. So it's just a little bonus feature. So, you know, it's just be aware of that and not to be looking for, you know, too high expectations of it, especially on this particular box. Um, it doesn't play a huge amount, um, but it does play some common formats. So, you know, it might play a certain amount of stuff for you. Anyway, just to stop playing a song, just hit the stop button and it's as simple as that. So uh, we'll just exit out there and what we'll do is we'll go down to movies then. Okay, so I'm just going to go to my flicks directory here. 
So the one that I'm actually most interested in, I've tested this and it does play, you know, a few types of videos and stuff like that. And, you know, that's fair enough and it seems to work fairly well. But, again, I would say, you know, there are other boxes within our range that do support a wider range of codecs. Um, and also, you know, just a standalone media player, you just can't beat. So, you know, it's, again, not to have too high expectations of these particular boxes from a media player point of view, because they're not actually media players. So, that's fair enough. So, this is the one I'm interested in. So, I'm going to hit this. The most common one that you'd see, basically, knocking around that people would have on their computers and stuff like that is a format called XVID with um, MP3 audio encoding, okay? And people just call them AVIs, right? But, the, the, technically speaking... It isn't a this and right. AVI is just a container that can contain a wide range of different types of audio and video codecs. So the most common version of these that would be knocking around would be XVID and MP3. So this is the first one I always test on any box. And you can see it there. Press the red button just to enlarge it. It's working fine. So from that point of view it's fairly good. So it probably would play a lot of people's videos and stuff like that. And just to get out of that then all you have to do is just hit the stop button and hit the exit button a couple of times and you're basically, you'll get back to live TV. So that's it basically, just a little bit about the media player on the TV Star T1020 HD Digital Terrestrial Receiver.